Hello, this is Eduardo Jambo. Ojambo.com has compared the differences between Java and PHP. The link is ojambo.com forward slash learn hyphen Java hyphen and hyphen PHP hyphen part hyphen one. In the first part, I'll show you how to get Java and PHP installed. The three lessons will be about syntax, comments, and writing the first program. Compiling and executing will be the final lesson in the first part. The sponsor for the video is ojamboshop.com. Templates for popular online shopping carts, e-commerce themes for Arbacart, Virtualmart, and Zencart at Ojumbo Shop. Custom templates or modifications are available at ojamboshop.com. In order to follow along with this tutorial, the following tools are required. Text editor, terminal to view final output, browser to download Java and PHP. Let's go to OpenJDK website and download and install the appropriate version. Then we'll go to php.net, click on the downloads link, and download and install the version for our operating system. If you're on Linux, you can use your package manager. In this case, I'm going to use Synaptic Package Manager and search for OpenJDK. Install it along with its Java runtime environment. Then I'll search for PHP and install the command line version or CLI. Once that's installed, we have to choose a text editor. I will use Gini. Ojumbo.com reviewed lightweight programming editors. The link is ojumbo.com forward slash review hyphen lightweight hyphen programming hyphen editors. The different types, as I said before, my preference is Guinea. Okay, once you have selected one, let's begin. I'm going to open up Guinea, create a new file, and save it as hello world.java. If you notice, the first letter is a capital for Java. Okay, the syntax is static void main bracket string array args closing bracket and curly braces okay java requires a main method which contains a command line argument in this example string type is an array a variable name is args all will be explained later let's open up a new file for php all it is is just php question mark closing text that's it okay now for comments the end of the line comments for Java, just two forward slashes. It's the exact same thing for PHP as well. Just two forward slashes. The multi-line comment for Java and PHP is exactly the same. It's the forward slash and asterisk to begin. And then when you end, it's just a, an asterisk and a forward slash. The exact same thing in PHP forward slash asterisk, you write your comments, and then when you're finished, just an asterisk and a forward slash. Okay, now let's briefly talk about classes. So both in Java, you just class and your class name, and the method, which will be void, and the method name. And then to initiate it, you just put the name and, and new. Now you can call the method inside it using the new created class. It's the exact same thing we're going to do in PHP. The only difference is that in PHP, objects are inside class functions. And so methods call them functions. And then with the variable, need to have a dollar sign before them. We can still call our function in the middle exact same thing. The blocks are defined by curly brackets or squiggly brackets. OK, 
Okay, let's begin. Let's write up our Hello World program. Okay, we'll start by writing some <coughs> multi-line comments for Jumbo.com, Hello World, Java Tutorial. Then Hello World.java, copyright 2011 or 2011, Edward. And the website is for Jumbo.com close out the multi-line comments. Then we can end of line comment for Java for hello world. Then in the class hello world. And we're going to use the static void for the main method. Don't worry again we'll explain the arrays uh, in the last lesson in the tutorial series. And then to print it out, we use system.out.println and in quotes, hello world. Make sure you close it out with a semicolon. Close out the block. And that's it. We're done for Java. For PHP, it's uh, really, really easy. Same thing again, the multi-line uh, comments of jumbo.com, hello world PHP tutorial, then hello world.php copyright. 2011 Edward and the website is ojumbo.com close out our multi-line comments and then our end of the line comment this displays hello world and we just use echo hello world in quotes with semicolon exact same just like Java and we're finished now to test it we just make it a little bit bigger here first. Okay. Compile it. Oh, there was an error. Spelled world wrong there. Compile it again. Automatically saves it. Then we can execute it. See, it's a hello world. You can also do it from the command line. Uh, javac hello world dot java then Java Hello World. That's it. Uh, Java compiles classes and creates a class called Hello World dot class. Java invokes the static main method. For PHP, we compile it again, and then we execute it. Hello World. From the command line, it's just PHP L Hello World. This is compiling, no errors, and then PHP Hello World. PHP has the option compiles in out of 10 years. Java is case sensitive and classes must begin with a capital letter. Java and PHP use similar statements, semicolons and curly or brace brackets for blocks. Remember to visit the tutorial sponsor of jumboshop.com. I hope you find this information useful. The tutorial can be found at ojumbo.com. Please visit and leave feedback.